One self-proclaimed internet troll, Milo Yiannopoulos. Milo Yiannopoulos. Milo Yiannopoulos. Milo Yiannopoulos. British journalist and Twitter terror, Milo Yiannopoulos. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I just always watch a lot of his stuff on YouTube. He's really interesting. It triggers people. And it's hilarious to watch. Um, honestly, it's just funny. Yeah, I think Milo really represents the worst in far-right bigotry, yeah. and uh, especially of those speakers actually brought here to campus. Mm. Um, he is misogynist. He's a racist. You know, even being gay himself, he's very homophobic and transphobic. Um, I think that uh, Milo stands for the more realistic side of politics. Um, he stands for a lot of things. I mean, I think the social justice movement has like pretty much like brainwashed a lot of young minds and he kind of sets that straight. I think he's a really good speaker as far as hate speech. I mean, I don't, he's, he's like, he's just very realistic. I can tell when it's hate speech because it's against me and it's verbally saying we should rape people. We should, you know, run people out of this country because they quote don't belong yeah. when it's speaking against my peers that's when it's hate speech I do not like this campus right now mm -hmm. I want the true garnet and gold campus that you know we believe in in our hearts political correctness should never come before facts it facts over everything like number one but Mm -hmm. uh, I think what I'm worried about is, is Milo actually putting people in danger? Is Milo um, you know, contributing to an environment of violence and hatred and bigotry? And if that's true, and he is, then it's clear that he should like not be accepted in mm -hmm. places like this campus. Oops, not culture, maybe? No, can you guys just come closer? We love freedom of speech. Hey, just hey, just hey. Let us oh, oh. Racism has got to go. Hey, hey. hey hello. hello. No, we are here to mark the passing of another American institution. I'm, I'm talking, of course, talking, of course, about an institution that started with the promise of hope, with the vibrancy and vitality of youth. Started beloved, but ended its life in ignominy. Speaking, of course, about Twitter. <laughs> did, did any of you have a look in here? Did you get a chance to have a little look? Did you see? Look, look, isn't he sweet? It's a raven, that's all we could find. R.I.P. Twitter! <laughs> Try getting a reservation at Dorsey and now! Why do you embrace me as a tour? Oh, because it's very important. You know, American culture is saturated by people obsessed with being nice. Uh, people obsessed with this, you know, lying to each other that everybody's getting on, everyone's fine, everything's mm. wonderful. But everything isn't wonderful. America's a mess. Um, yeah. And, you know, in this culture, this stultifying, suffocating culture of political correctness, I think we need a few bomb throwers. We need a few people who are going to come in, yeah. blow open the fire doors, and get people talking again. The speech codes on college campuses, the political mm. correctness in the media, these things are stopping people from having real conversations about stuff that matters. Race, love, yeah. sex, death, money. These are all really hard conversations to have in America now because of political correctness. So we absolutely need trolling, we need rudeness, we need mischief, we need whimsy, and we need absolutely need provocatives. And to you, um, when does that you know, actually become offensive? Is there any boundary that you won't cross? I don't know what that word means, and I don't care. Uh, you know, sort of saying I'm offended is another yeah. way of saying I don't have an argument, but I don't like what you're saying for some undisclosed mysterious reason somewhere in my brain, and I'm not able to articulate what's actually wrong with it, mm. I just want you to shut up. That's what mm. I'm offended means. I'm offended is meaningless. It's not, a, it's not a hurt, it's not an emotion. It's not like you cut me, that is like a, a yeah. thing that you've done. I'm offended is meaningless. I don't know, the, I don't understand what the emotion is that people are just describing when they say I'm offended. I, yeah. like, the best guess is it's just a slippery, meaningless way of saying I, you're an idiot and I hate you. And yeah. I don't have much time for that. I like people to come with reason, fact, and logic. I'm right. offended does none of those things. All right. And um, what, um, what do you hope FSU students and college students around the country take away from your speaking tour? I want to rob the progressive left of the power it has over people's language and thought. 
You know, the reason that I call my tour what, what I call it is because I want to rob that word of all of the, all the power it has, right? Mm -hmm. I want the progressive left to lose the power they have to, to come after people for using the wrong word, for being perce you know, perceived as sexist, racist, homophobic, all the rest of it. I want language to be liberated again. I want people to be able to express themselves. I want free reign creativity. That doesn't exist on American campuses and doesn't exist in the media. Mm -hmm. The purpose of this tour is to start those conversations up again. I mm -hmm. don't care if, if uh, students are Republican or Democrat. You know, I don't, I don't yeah. care about that. What I care about is the full range of opinions being acceptable and open marketplace of ideas. Right now, that's only possible for a very small number of people on the far left. Realistic side of politics. Um, he stands for a lot of things. I mean, I think the social justice movement has, like, pretty much like brainwashed a lot of young minds, and he kind of sets that straight. I think he's a really good speaker as far as hate speech. I mean, I don't. He's he's like he's just very realistic. I can tell when it's hate speech because it's against me, and it's verbally saying we should rape people, we should, you know run people out of this country because they quote don't belong yeah. when it's speaking against my peers that's when it's hate speech I do not like this campus right now yeah. I want the true garnet and gold campus that you know we believe in in our hearts political correctness should never come before facts and facts over everything like number one but Mm -hmm. I think what I'm worried about is, is Milo actually putting people... You know, American culture is saturated by people obsessed with being nice. Uh, people obsessed with this, you know, lying to each other that everybody's getting on, everyone's fine, everything's mm -hmm. wonderful. But everything isn't wonderful. America's a mess. Um, yeah. And, you know, in this culture, this stultifying, suffocating culture of political correctness, I think we need a few bomb throwers. We need a few people who are going to come in, yeah. blow open the fire doors, and get people talking again. The speech codes on college campuses, the political mm -hmm. correctness in the media, these things are stopping people from having real conversations about stuff that matters. Race, yeah. love, sex, death, money. These are all really hard conversations to have in America now because of political correctness. So we absolutely need trolling, we need rudeness, we need mm. mischief, we need whimsy, and we need absolutely need provocateurs. And to you, um, when does that you know, actually become offensive? Is there any boundary that you won't cross? I don't know what that word means, and I don't mm -hmm. care. Uh, you know, sort of saying I'm offended is another yeah. way of saying I don't have an argument, but I don't like what you're saying for some About an institution that started with the promise of hope, with the vibrancy and vitality of youth. Started beloved, but ended its life in ignominy. Speaking, of course, about Twitter. Did, did any of you have a look in here? Did you get a chance to have a little look? Did you see? Look. Look, isn't he sweet? It's a raven. That's all we could find. R.I.P. Twitter! Why do you embrace me as a tour? Oh, because it's very important. People in danger. Is Milo um, you know, contributing to an environment of violence and hatred and bigotry? And if that's true, and he is, then it's clear that he should like not be accepted in mm. places like this campus. Oops, not culture, maybe? No, can you guys just come closer? We love freedom of speech. Hey, just hey, let us oh, hear you. Oh. Racism has got to go. Hey, hey. No, we are here to mark the passing of another American institution. I'm, I'm talking of course. Talking of course. One self-proclaimed internet troll, Milo Yiannopoulos. Milo Yiannopoulos. Milo Yiannopoulos. Milo Yiannopoulos. British journalist and Twitter terror, Milo Yiannopoulos. <laughs> Um, I 
don't know. I've just always watched a lot of his stuff on YouTube. He's really interesting. It triggers people. It's hilarious to watch. Um, honestly, it's just funny. Yeah, I think Milo really represents the worst in far-right bigotry, yeah. and uh, especially of those speakers actually brought here to campus. Mm. Um, he is misogynist, he's a racist, you know, even being gay himself, he's very homophobic and transphobic. Um, I think that uh, Milo stands for the more 